Hello my fellow spuddies and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid with Logan Stone. First things first, I've got a bit of a cold so I apologise for sound a bit weird. Try and not cough on camera, <laughs> basically. Um, I've just had a cold for the last couple of days but hopefully it will go away soon. Off camera I haven't done a huge amount. I did some more metal working around there and I thought well I wanted to level up fishing off camera because I didn't want to sh keep showing me fishing constantly because it's pretty boring just me sat there. So I thought I'd give it a go. And I caught some weird interesting stuff. So I caught some turtles i caught some ray and this is when it gets a bit weird i was cutting stuff up and a split second before it finished cutting up this particular ray it had trophy written in front of it um now trophy fish are a thing from snakes mod same as obviously the rays and the turtles and stuff um they are a ridiculously rare find that you can get which they're just huge they're huge huge fish they're trophy fish i found a trophy ray river ray now each one of the fillets is five kilograms. I have another 10 currently cooking in there, which are uncooked. I've had to put another four, which I managed to cook in there. I've then put another five in here, another two in here. And some of that has gone into soup as well. So you can imagine how big this bloody ray was. Um, once I'd filleted it up, my weight was 175, <laughs> which was ridiculous. So... Yeah, um, but in doing all of that cooking, I got I managed to level up our cooking, which is nice. So we are now level four. We can now see whether it's fresh or not under the status. So it now says very fresh, which is nice. But basically what I'm going to do first of all is try and cook the rest of this ray. We're just going to have to fit them in where they fit because there's lots of there's not much space for them. They're so heavy, but each of them has 48 hunger. Like, it's amazing. If we had like the freezer up and running, which I might go and do that now, we'll just have fish for days. Like, actually days. Maybe even weeks. Minus 84 hunger. Like, that's that's ridiculous. That weighs nearly 10 kilograms. <laughs> Fishing is definitely the way to go. The chance of me finding another trophy fish anytime soon is very, very rare. I think especially at my level, I think it was basically just pure, pure luck that we found one. But it's still very cool. Right, this episode, we're doing a few bits. We are going to be doing some metal working. We're going to be doing some potential gunsmithing because after we saw that thing last episode with the extended building this is what we need so we need eight planks 10 screws no 15 screws 10 nails two metal sheets two small metal sheets and one reloading tool we should have all of that so i think we're going to make that first off oh i've just realized it's not as easy as i thought so we didn't actually have the reloading tool we just had reloading tool part and to make the what i want we need the reloading tool to fix it we need a broken reloading tool which we found actually in the gun store previously oh for god's sake <laughs> okay and to fix it we need the all of these parts i thought we just needed the one no we need all of them so that's one two three four five we've got only got two okay yeah we need to look out for them okay it's not gonna be as easy as i thought then that's sad so this series i like i mentioned it a couple of episodes ago Logan's plan is to make this island a sanctuary for any survivors who happen to come upon it. Logan's mission is still to look for other survivors, but he's kind of he hasn't given up hope, but he's started to lose faith in that mission because he hasn't seen any survivors. He hasn't seen much evidence of any survivors. He's still going to make this a sanctuary just in case survivors do happen to come upon it and they can live in safety. So what I think my overall goal is, is to make a couple of ports. We'll make one on this side of the island, probably one on the south side. We will make another port probably on the bottom near that house just south of this island. And we'll get a spare bow at some point so it enables survivors to come and go if they please. On top of that, what I want to do is get enough seeds that survivors will be happy. They'll be able to farm for a long time and it will be a decent amount of stockpile. I want to make the base significantly bigger so we can have multiple bedrooms. I mean, there is the mansion as well, which is quite good. So that's another thing that potentially the survivors can use but it'd be nice to have a proper base that could support multiple colonists so if we have an indoor farm if we have a proper workshop area if we have well this second floor we're going to make nice we're going to make this logan's own base i think that's a, that's a good plan so that's kind of the the main goal of this series now is to get this base up and running to get it safe secure for other survivors we'll still look out for other survivors but if we can't find any, at least we know that this place will be safe for them. Right, so let's go through some of the metalworking bits and bobs that I picked up along the way. We've got all this metal sheets. 
So what can we do with all this? We can make bulletproof vest. We can actually make a bulletproof vest. Do we have enough belts? Probably not. We can make irrigation pipes. We need metal pipes to do that. That's something interesting we can do. So we can potentially set up our farm so that they're automatically irrigated, which I do want to do. Right, we've got all this unusable metal. So what we can do is this, is we can make some iron ingots. So I think that's the first thing we're going to want to do. Let's grab all those unusable metal. <laughs> we've also got lots of scrap metal, so we can grab all of that. Let's just grab 10 of them. So we're going to want to make some metal ingots from them. Oh, we can make a box of jars. We need a sandbag, campfire. Oh, that's interesting. Make gunpowder. We can make our own gunpowder. We need sulfur, stone, and potassium nitrate. Ooh. Ooh, 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 that's big. That means we can basically make our own stuff from the spot. That's awesome. I right, we just need a empty cooking pot now. The other thing, I did a little bit of foraging. We found pepper plants. We've now got salt, stone, and pepper plants. We've got salt and pepper unlimited now, which is amazing. Got one of them. And it looks like we can make some uh, iron ingots. Right, here we go. How much propane does that use up? A tiny, tiny bit. Excellent. How much charcoal? A bit, but not a huge amount. That's good. Uh, make iron ingots again. Right, make workable iron. So we can make dumbbells at level 3. What is our current... I think it's only level 1, isn't it? Our current metalworking level. Metalworking 1, nearly level 2. So is there anything we can make? Right, one of the things we can do is make fishing tackle. We need empty tin can. We need welder's mask, saws, propane torch. Let's make a, let's make a fishing tackle. How much is this going to increase our metalworking skill? Not by much, but something. So we can make our own fishing tackle. Right, this is getting annoying. Um, we want to just make everything we can't. Uh, scrap metal. Can we do anything with scrap metal? Make some bolts. Craft metal crossbow. Handmade metal crossbow. Oh, maybe we should make a metal crossbow then. That might be fun. Let's go grab some screws. Right, here we go. Handmade metal crossbow. We may need wooden crossbow bolts for this. Right, craft three wooden crossbow bolts. Uh, we need hunting knife, hammers, glue, chip stones, and sturdy sticks. Right, this is cool. We made our own crossbow. Did that actually increase our metal working at all? A little bit. Right, it's nice to actually know that we've got a crossbow, so that's exciting. Why well, is a shame, because I was really hoping we could do a lot more metal work with what we've got, but actually, we need to be higher metal working skill before we can do anything. We need to be at least level two before we can do anything with the metal sheets and stuff like that and the workable iron. We're in just a little bit stuck, so I'm not quite sure really what to do. I think what we're going to have to do is just save our metal working skill and we're going to have to go to the mainland and disassemble stuff. I think that's all we can really do. Yeah, because we don't really have much of a choice. Yeah, the only way I can really level up metalworking skill at this current point is if I go foraging for doing metalworking skill and I find some lead pipes, at which point I then take apart the lead pipes for lead, um, and that's that's the only way I can really level up the metalworking skill. Yeah, it might just have to be that we wait till we go next to the mainland to level up our metalworking. Our metalworking is probably going to have to go without for the time being, which is a massive shame. But we've made the workable iron, and that's something. We could do a bit more hunting, I guess. We could try out the binoculars with the... Yeah, let's try, let's try out the binoculars with the hunting rifle, because we haven't tried that yet. And then after that, I am um, I might actually head back to the mainland again. All right, so if we equip the rifle in both hands... There we go. Uh, keep binoculars. So if we do this way round, we then have a chance to actually shoot when we see it. Yeah, there's no option. Right, okay, so the binoculars are a bit, a bit pointless. But let's, uh, let's equip the rifle again. Hunt with rifle. Didn't hit it. Right, so he hit the bear. Oh, animal hurt. <gasps> oh my god. We, we, we done and hunted a bear. Uh, tie up bear, we need four rope. What have we done? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, right, hopefully we can tie it up this time, unlike the sheep. Let's quickly run back. Quick, quick, quick. It might be a bit premature. We might still need to read some of the books or something. I don't know. We can tie up bear. We can do it. It must have just been the sheep one that was bugged or something. Right, what can we do with that? Untie bear. Okay, we've, uh, we've got a bear. A very big bear. Yeah, it looks like all we can do is tie it up and untie it. So it doesn't look like we can actually skin it or anything yet. Um, okay. Right, so we've got a, uh, a very fresh dead bear that we can't do anything with. Okay, I think it's time we chuck that in our freezer then. We, we should be able to chuck it in our freezer. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to get rid of some of the, uh, the ray. I'm sorry, Mr. Ray. Uh, you're going to have to come out. Right, and then we can chuck it in our freezer. And I think we're just going to have to turn it on when we go to the mainland. 
is as interesting. So it doesn't look... We've got the thing to butcher chicken. Butcher crow. Butcher canary. But then it's treating cow raw skin. Making a bear skin rug. Sharpen slapper knife. Right. Okay. And then the rest of it acts as a normal knife. That's a little bit weird. But I think what we're going to want to do basically is sleep. Um, I think we've got... Have we got a spare welder's mask? Oh, God. Okay, we just had a jet fly over us. Glad we're inside for that. And that, that's mixed up a bit. Let's put something else on Logan. Uh, we could do birthday hat. The black fedora. Right, there we go. Okay, Logan's looking as good as can be. Right, let's go to sleep. And then we'll, uh, we'll head off again in the morning. I think this time we'll go down like we did before when we went to that... Um, where we walked down for ages right early on when we got to the mainland. And then I think after that, we'll just keep driving, see where we get. Right, fuel 80%. Turn on. How long is this going to last? Uh, steel fridge, popsicle fridge. A while, basically. Uh, but we're going to want to take as much gas as possible when we come back again. So we're going to take all the gas cans that we've got. And we're going to make up that other gas can as well. A gas can. Oh, it's just simple as that. Boom. Just some bleach bottles. Some garbage bags, some duct tape, and we're good. Right, I'm hoping, by the look of it, the wind is probably in just the right direction. There we go, brilliant. There we are, so we've got the wind right behind us. And we've read all the books. I completely forgot about this training material side of it, which is the ones that we've picked up. So I should have been looking at this the whole time. I always forget that this is a thing. Oh, and it also includes recipes. Oh, look, we can see all the uh, the dances we've, we've still got to get. Look how many of them there are. Right, the drinks magazine is what we need for cocktails. We need all these survival mags. I guess that's how we skin stuff. Mining magazine, that will enable us to get, presumably, ores and stuff. Um, I did change the lure files a little bit because I was frustrated because most of these magazines, the snakes mods anyway, only spawn on magazine racks or basically stores and stuff that aren't really on this map at all. So they it makes them incredibly rare, like to the extent we probably won't find them. Whereas we would have done if we were playing the normal map. So what I've done is I've edited them slightly so that they have a small chance of spawning on just normal bookshelves. So hopefully that will give us more of a chance to actually find the books that we want. Because we've got a lot of them to find. Like, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a lot. Like, these are all the ammunition ones, all the Lagorme ones, all the Angular ones, all the survival ones, and everything else. So... I don't really want to be wasting time just scouting around looking for them. I want to experience the mod. I want to start playing it. So I think having to find some of them like that is, is a good thing. Just being able to find them if I if I want to and I can. I've just got so many VHSs to find. I didn't realise there were that many of them. Here we go. Right, let's get rid of this quickly because we're going to have to slow right down. Find the boat now. There we go. Uh, let us remove the sails. Get off the boat. Excellent, excellent stuff. The only thing that I've realised I've got to do is pick up a spear. Uh, so we're going to have to rely on the weapons that we've currently got in the APC, but that's fine. At least for the time being, that's fine. We've got so many gas cans. Like, so many gas cans. Oh, come on, Barry. Off on another adventure. With our black band fedora going on. We we look a sight. Apparently we've got a, a chin strap beard going on as well, which is um just adds to it, I think. Just really, really adds to it. Oh, we've got a couple of zombies, though. You have a fire extinguisher on you? Seriously? Okay. You weird, weird zombie, you. you got ranger uniform, though. I'm going to take the ranger uniform. Oh, another one. This is the only problem where we attract all those zombies before. We don't want to take the trailer with us because it's just going to slow us down. That's all fine, that's all fine. Uh, we're not going to take one to take the antique furnace. Christ, another one. Ooh, denim shirt is better than what we're currently wearing. Oh, nice, okay. I didn't realise we were missing a layer. Right, okay, we've got the jack, we've got the wrench, so we should be able to take wheels off. Another zombie, seriously. God, there's more. They just keep coming out of nowhere. Oh, 
There are lots. There are lots of these zombies. Right, this is where they've all migrated. Uh, pull yarn from hoodies, that'll be good. Uh, rip all the clothing up. We're just going to want to keep ripping up all the clothing we can find, really, at this point. Ooh, a box of rubber bands and a mint candy. Don't mind if I do. Okay, after all of that, let's turn on our generator again. And we will get some gas in this thing. Right, refuel from gas pump. Right, turn off. Right, we've got full APC. Everything is good with it. Although, speaking of which, we should fix up the hood before we go. So do we have any... No, it looks like we're probably going to have to dismantle something in the uh, in here. And doing this means that we should be able to get our metal working scale up a little bit. We should be able to get a metal sheet or two. And at that point, we can uh, fix up our APC. There we go. And we got a metal sheet. Thank God. And we actually leveled up in metal working. Okay, two birds. Oh yeah, the hood's pretty bad. Uh, potential repair 67. There we go, 68. Boom. So I think we're ready to go. Let's go. We'll go down this way, and this should hopefully pull any zombies in the nearby area back this way. I think that's probably a good thing to do. Oh, it's nice to be able to go a bit quicker now. That's nice. Oh, it's so much nicer. Right, and then this way is where we're going, isn't it? Yeah, this way. Right, okay, so I'm going to call it a day there, guys. Um, oh, there's lots of zombies there. Christ, okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to call it a day there, guys, and I'll kind of be back in the morning once... Well, I'll be back once I've parked somewhere, found somewhere to, like, settle up. And I'll go from there. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this, please leave a like and subscribe. Massive thank you to my Patreon, Seth, Bear, Overlord, South, Drew, Clint, David, Aaron, Dale, Mikhail, Emma, DeBlog, Rai, Kalara, Daniel, Len, Wolf, AJ, and Andrew. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are just amazing. Thank you so much. Next episode, once again, a case of looting, but I'm going to try and make sure that we find some more interesting books. Hopefully a survival mag so we can learn how to cut up that bear. Uh, because it'd be nice to just get out the whole bear out of the freezer. And yeah, so really excited. I think um, I think it's going to be a good one. Um, hopefully find another trailer, a smaller trailer, or maybe another car that we can haul back. I think that'd be good as well. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.